However, I also need to give a point of correction. The deaf people use sign language to communicate, but the majority of the service providers in Uganda are not familiar with sign language. 28-year-old Betty Najemba is a mother of one who was born normally. However, in 1999, at the age of nine, an unknown illness caused her deafness. Well, the challenges that I've gotten as a person, the more I've been with a relationship with people, with my neighbors, the stigma, discrimination. For example, I'm um, in school. When I joined the uh, secondary school, I remembered one, um, one school there where I was competing very well. And the fact that we're learning sciences in all level. So when I got into that school, so I had uh, the requirements to be admitted in that school, but the fact that I was deaf, they said they couldn't teach me. Being an invisible disability, it would take you time to realize that Betty Najemba is deaf. Despite all the challenges, Betty has been able to study and has attained a bachelor in accounts. I don't believe in self-pity, I mean pitying myself. I don't believe in that. That is the key thing that has driven me. It's a key factor that has helped me. Because, for example, very many people, they underlook uh, different things. You see, for example, if someone is deaf, they say they can't do different things. But for me, I feel I am at the same level with anyone that is hearing, any other normal person. Hearing loss may result from genetic causes, complications at birth, certain infectious diseases, chronic ear infections, the use of particular drugs, exposure to excessive noise and aging, among many others. Deafness is an invisible disability across the globe. Currently, Uganda has about one million deaf people who are struggling to go to school so that they may learn the sign language to communicate internationally with other people. Annually, the International Deaf Awareness Week is celebrated by the World Federation of the Deaf and its national associations and their affiliates globally. Moroto District alone has about 29,000 deaf people, the reason why this year's national celebrations were held there under the theme Full Inclusion with Sign Language. <laughs> Who would like to go to schools or get employment, but most of the schools in Kamaraja region are for hearing students. They, they do not, they, the schools do not welcome deaf students because they do not have teachers. And these reports are very clear. The parents are interested, the teachers are interested, but uh, there is no commitment and there is no information, clear information. When you look at the number of one million people, it's a very huge, huge, huge number. That's why the government has come up with a, a program, affirmative program, to have more schools and also to train more sign language uh, instructors. And actually, uh, starting with next year, this financial that is coming, their budget is going to be multiplied by two. Government is also going to build a complete section of primary, secondary, and vocational schools of the deaf to serve the Karamoja sub-region, respectively. I'm Dennis Wanyala, reporting for Urban TV.